is happening guys it is Danilad 1989 welcome back this is the Hereford United career and this is episode 26 now if you guys didn't see the last episode trust me go back and watch episode 25 it was brilliant we had a 4-0 win against Peterborough United biggest win of the season so far we also beat Bolton 2-0 and against Sheffield Wednesday that was a back and forward game probably the best game of the season if not the series so far so do go back and check out episode 25 if you haven't seen it but this is episode 26 we have Walsall away we also have Ipswich Town at home and we have Crew Alexander away so three decent games today and I certainly want to keep pushing to chase Luton at the top I mean we've got this far you know or this far up the table um, so far in the season so we might as well keep going eh no point letting it slip now so Enough of the talking, let's get into the football, let's go away to Walsall. Right then guys, straight into the football. We are away here at Walsall, as we know they came up with us last season from League 2. So we do know them pretty well, we do know they've got goals in them, but we also know we can beat them. So I want to keep pressing, as we said, try and catch Luton, who have had a brilliant start to the season. I think we've already played Luton once, did we? I think we beat them 2-1. Not sure, can't remember. But I certainly want to keep pressing in this game. So we are at full strength, obviously, in our away colours today. Molly on the field, as you can see there. I've had to change them to their away strip so there was no kick clash. Um, but yeah, we'll see how they line up. <coughs> Here is Walsall's lineup. Let's see what formation they're running. Are they going to be sitting or are they going to go with League One and go with the 4 2 3 1 as seems to be the meta here in League One? So they have gone with the 4-2-3-1. So as we know, it can be quite attacking or they can sit. So we will see what they do, but I'm quite confident we should get three points here. And as you can see, French back in the lineup. Obviously, I've had to switch, you know, lineups in recent episodes to keep things fresh, keep players fresh and keep everybody on, give everybody game time if you like. But today we line up Wilson in goal, Alexander on the right hand side, Savage on the left hand side, Alphonse and French in the in the centre centre back position should I say uh, Adam and Wall in the centre defensive mid positions, Wall that move is permanent now, Jeffrey is on the bench, Wall is in, Marley in the camp position Anthony on the left, Valencia on the right and have tried Adams up top today I know obviously Kirk Wilson's been in goal scoring form but I still want to keep playing Adams as he's stat wise better but let's kick on and see how we get on also pressing early keeping some nice possession here. It's a decent turn. Try and chase him down with Wall. Alphonse's watching. Try getting the block in. French does get the block in. Alphonse collect. Try and go around the corner. It's out for a goal kick. Walsall got a few men forward here. Trying to get some sort of a counter attack going. French has pulled over to that left back position. No can play there anyway. It's a decent pass. Inside to Alphonse. Tried to get it clear. Pressure builds the chance. And they lash it wide. Been a very possession based game this guy, there's not really many opportunities here in the first half an hour or so but Adam tried to turn out of trouble and turned into trouble, that's a decent ball down the line, Alphonse's had to pull over, Alexander's in the shot now and Alphonse get a head on that, does get a really good head on that, I'll try and chip that forward for Morley, try and bring that down, it doesn't, it flicks up and it did it flick off a hand, I think it flicked off a hand, apparently it flicked off a, a black and red shirt, not a green one chance to come forward here possession burst at the edge alfonso has got a bit of work to do here he plays it back he's got options in the box shot comes in and it's not good enough wall lost out in the tackle there should have been stronger in midfield that is a wonderful ball down the line good flick back he's got a couple of players open and savage gets the block in stops the shot coming in and it's out for a corner just before the 40th minute to be honest Walsall have looked the more likely of scoring out of the two teams Wilson should collect this goes up really well see if I can roll this out to French and get us on a counter attack try and play that forward to Wall it's a decent pass Anthony's continued his run Anthony has got in here straight away we are on the back front I'm going to try and pitch that up towards Valencia at the back post Valencia on the head and I tell you what the centre back placed himself brilliantly to get a block here we just watch here he places himself in front and it actually hits him in the face. You're going to stop it. Is that not the way to do it? Cross comes in. Let's see if we can get on goal again. It's clear this time. Just before half time here, guys. 
two minutes added on doesn't look like either team are going to get in front before the half it's going to be nil nil at half time there goes the whistle here we go in the second half then guys um, not the best half of football from ourselves certainly didn't continue the form we had in the last episode but let's see if we can push on get a scrappy win a nice turn by Wall into Morley drop that towards Adam Adam making a forward run here into Adams Just trying to drop that into Wall on the outside towards Anthony here we're building and Valencia's at the back post goes up for the header and cleared away well by the it's a good pass into Adam try and send that forward to Adams plenty of options here try and go around the corner to Valencia really well done by the full back he wasn't fooled by Valencia's run but really good tackle there by Adams to win possession back here goes Morley try and ping this up for Anthony at the back post touched and cleared away Savage gets it back in here's Morley see if we can hit that one with Morley it deflects goes into the keeper's gloves here's Morley into Wall keeping possession here as Walsall has sat pretty deep try and play that into Valencia that's a really good ball around the corner and he's offside just going to make a change while we're here guys bring Koch on for French who's a bit tired again Walsall try and pressure us forward trying to break our defensive line down but so far we have stood strong need a strong tackle in here from Alfonso gets a good block in and also gets a good tackle in it's out for a corner 87 minutes gone guys they have a corner it's been a bit of a scrappy cagey game to be honest no real golden chances hoping that we'll get a chance before the end I might as well play it out from here guys less than a minute to go plus stoppage time try and get forward and try and get one last chance well done by Alfonsi I just need to kind of get this forward and hope for the best Anthony try and win that header he doesn't falls to the number nine he drops it by through to the number nine is this their chance to steal it cracking challenge by Alfonsi can Valencia win the head he can but that's the end of the game back at the menu then guys and a nil nil stalemate against Walsall probably they had the better chances maybe they should have stole it especially at the end cracking challenge by Alfonsi to pretty much get us a point at the end there because they could have got a goal but never mind nil nil we'll take it it's an extra point even though Luton have pushed further up the table now six points clear now Luton and we're four points clear of obviously Wickham in third so it's not the worst situation to be in we're certainly battling for automatic promotion I just would have liked to have challenged Luton so we'll see how we get on in the next game against Ipswich Edgar Street ground guys we are at home we are against Ipswich can't quite remember what result it was last time out. I think it was a 2-1 win. Or was it a loss? I can't remember. I think it was 2-1. I can't remember which way it was. Anyway, let's crack on with this game and see if we can get another win here. Because like I said, Luton Town are pushing further up the table. And I want to keep the pressure on. Obviously, after drawing the last game, we need to keep the pressure on. So... We've got a change side today, but it's slightly weaker than, obviously, our starting 11, because obviously starting 11 was always stronger, but defensively, legs were absolutely tired out, so stamina was a huge thing, so I've had to swap out pretty much the entire back line and the rest of the lineup. So Bird goes in goal instead of Wilson. It's Walsh in the right-back position, Thomas in the left-back position, Koch and Banks in the centre-back positions. I've had to go Adam and Jeffrey in centre-defensive mid, while obviously too tired to play. Morley in the camp position. I've had to go Wilson on the left today. That's Kirk Wilson on the left. Kennedy up top, and obviously I've gone Jackson on the right. So different to how we've played before but still strong so I'm hoping we'll certainly get a result here so let's crack on with the football see if we can get Bird lofts that forward from the goal kick try and win this header with Kennedy certainly does win that onto Wilson Marley see if I can get that over to Jackson go around the corner to Kennedy no foul there on Jackson clean tackle says the referee I thought that was a bit of a foul but never mind it goes into Walsh if he can turn and try and get that ball down the line that's a lovely ball into Adam see if we can get it to Morley go on to Kennedy looking for Kirk Wilson around the corner Wilson does get on it hits it Wilson and it's wide of the target ball sent over to Walsh Walsh heads that down really well into Adam Valen uh, sorry Jackson I was going to say Valencia then because it's normally Valencia in that position never mind Jackson around the corner to Morley and Morley's hit the bar so close to the first goal of the game approaching half time here guys and Ipswich coming down this line try and get a tackle in 
with Thomas and he's beaten Thomas for pace there. That's a really good bit of skill into the middle. Adam does well. Ball's dropped to Morley. Can we get a chance before half time? Try and pinch that round the corner to Wilson. Should have the pace to get there. And it was the Ipswich man that ran it out of play. There's one minute added on. See if we can get a chance just before half time. Just put that into Morley. It wasn't a good throw to feet really by Wilson. There goes the half time whistle. Here we are then guys in the second half and still no goal in this episode yet. 0-0 in the last game, 0-0 at half time here. We need a goal. Free kick for offside here guys. I'm just going to try and get this forward as quick as possible to get an opportunity on goal but not a very good pass. Koch has managed to get a good tackle in. Hip switch with the ball. Trying to come forward, decent pass through and Banks makes a really good tackle but the chance he's still alive comes back to the same area and a shot over the top of the bar that's a really good ball over the top here Ipswich man has chance to get inside and uses his man down the line see if we can get rid of that with Adam does really well defensively there Adam but it's only dropped into a white shirt really good save by Bird on the rebound and they have their first goal they do not it's offside thank god for that I didn't see the flag had gone up on the far side but the goal is disallowed let's have another look here and see when the man turns and puts the ball in, he is certainly offside. Ball oh, lofted forward. Marley wins that header well. Here's Wilson. Try and send that over to Jackson. Adam down the line to Jackson. We know Jackson's got the pace to get away. Let's try and flip this towards the back post. Pings off the centre back and we have a corner here. Or do we not? Is it a penalty? I think the referee has given a penalty here. Was it handball? I think that's a harsh handball that is a very harsh handball but we have a penalty here guys I will certainly take it we've had those decisions go against us so instead of mourning about it I'm just going to take it go with the top right hand corner with Morley and he puts that away beautifully with a penalty finally we get a goal after nearly well after nearly two full games of not having a goal the 70th minute here we get a penalty and we may have pinched it in the 70th minute um, we'll leave Jackson on just for now. Really good penalty by Marley. We're 1 0 up. Really good ball ping forward. Wilson wins the header. So does Jeffrey. Marley brings it down into Adam. Plenty of time here. Adam try and get Jackson through. Jackson is through. Can he provide the finish? He runs straight into the goalkeeper. We've got time and space here. Ipswich. I'm just going to try and keep pressing. Keep trying to win the ball because it's something we have done well in this game. We've pressed forward and stopped them passing it in and around their area trying to create chances but that's, they're doing very well here with, with the short passing and may have got inside it's a decent ball over the top can he get a chance here the Ipswich man he does and he sends it way over the bar not long left here now guys and I thought Molly was fouled there but no foul three minutes added on Ipswich trying to come forward trying to get back in this game and really good tackle by Thomas Really good defending, try and get that ball out towards Jackson. That is a wonderful ball if Jackson can keep going. Jackson's certainly got the pace. Can he provide a finish? It's over the bar. Jackson gets in those opportunities so many times. So quick down that side and he just doesn't seem to provide the finish. Obviously in League 2, you guys know he did provide the finish quite a lot. Here in League 1, he's just not doing the business unfortunately. He gets in the position, does all the hard work. He can't finish but never mind. Because of a penalty, we win the game 1-0 at home. Press conference after the game, guys, and Morley's penalty wins the game. It was, again, a scrappy game, not a, not a, not a game full of chances, but Morley gets the penalty, which was a harsh penalty, to be honest. Um, are you confident you will avoid defeat again? I mean... Pfft. We're looking stronger and stronger, that's all I'll say. Just say we're looking stronger and stronger. Like I said... To be honest, I think it was a harsh penalty, but as I said, we've had those decisions go, go against us where we've, you know, the other team has got a penalty against us and it's cost us points, so it's kind of balancing out. Just one goal in it. Are you happy with today's performance? We should have scored more, um, even though it will negatively affect. I'm, I'm going to say it because that's right. I, I, I certainly think we should have scored more goals. We had our chances. Um just struggling to get the goal so even though it neg negatively affects it's the right thing to say um, that's twice we've beaten Ipswich now um, have we got the edge on them um, 
we take pride in our work, we certainly do, because obviously coming up as champions we had a lot to prove from Thanks, League 2, so yeah, happy with that, and obviously I want to try and keep this as realistic as possible guys, with reactions, with also transfers now, because as you can see with this last game we are into the January transfer window, so as you can see yourself there, I have got scout reports coming back, so just as a mention, the, the transfer window will be in the next episode, so if you have any suggestions, anywhere where you think we need to strengthen, anywhere where you think we could utilize a better player or put some players on my shortlist, anybody like that, put it in the comments guys, let me know, anybody you think would suit in the team or anything, do drop it in the comment section and let me know, give me your feedback. But for now, let's go away to Crew Alexander. Right then guys, final game of the episode, Crew Alexander away. It's not been the best episode for goals, 0-0 <laughs> in the first game, we get a penalty in the last game to win it so I'm hoping I'll be able to excite you a little bit more in this episode obviously 25 go back and watch episode 25 just the best episode of the series so far end-to-end -end action but this episode not been brilliant so I'm hoping to bring some light at the end of the episode to you guys so obviously away at Cruel Alexander we will have a look how they line up today and we'll take a look at our lineup so our lineup pretty much starting 11, uh, one or two are tired so I just had to make one or two substitutions but that's how crew Alexander line up, let's have a look at their formation and see what we're up against, are we up against, we're not, we're up against the 4-3-3 today so very attacking, expecting them to have a go at us today, hopefully a bit of action in this game, we haven't really had much action in this episode so let's see if we can crack on and have a good game in this one, our lineup is when it's ready to come up. Here we go. There's our lineup today, guys. Wilson is in goal. Alexander right back. Savage left back. I've gone French and uh, Alfonso in the centre back positions. I've had to go Kavina with Wall in the centre def <coughs> the centre defensive mid positions as Adam is tired from last game. Mall in the cam position. Anthony out on the left. Valencia out on the right. And I've stuck with Adams up top today. Hopefully he can get back in goal scoring form. Alexander with possession early. Savage should win that. Didn't let it float over the top of him. May have been a mistake that which may give the first opportunity. They hit the post off the rebound and he has missed. We should be 1 0 down there off the rebound and all he had to do was hit it anywhere on target and he's missed and hit the side netting. That is an early warning sign we need to defend better. Decent pass out wide, keeping all the possession. Kavanaugh was there, stood him up, looking for the ball down the line. Maybe Alexander is certainly there, tracking back. And the ball comes into the middle, French. Pushing out, Just passing the ball around well here, crew, not giving anything away. Cross comes into the middle, Alexander should deal with that and does to Alfonso, he gets it away to Wall. Marley is on the middle with a really good pass into Anthony. Anthony on the run, I've got Valencia at the back post, I'm just going to try and play it across to Valencia. The shot and we have an early goal. Valencia was in the goals in the last episode and he's back in the goals in the last game of this episode. Brought him in from uh, Brentford, if you guys remember, in the last transfer window. I did expect more of him, but he is starting to go off his value. So, let's crack on. And we're 1-0 up here. Ball goes out for the throwing on a far side here is Anthony. Just give that to Wall. Wait for Anthony to continue the run. Anthony's quick and should be able to beat his man here, but Marshall's in out of it. See if we can get... The ball's back through a mistake here, and that is a look, wonderful ball over the top, lofted ball over the top. Savage needs to get back in position. He does get there. He could have carried on going there, the Crew Alexander man, and kept going, created a chance, but he chooses to go inside. And Alfonso went in for the block. Never mind, he's lashed it over the bar. Well, wall down the line to Anthony. On to Morley, see if I can get Adams in behind. It nearly fell nicely for Anthony there, but Crew look like they're going to come forward and have their own opportunity at goal here. Got a few players back, no need to panic just yet, but passing the ball around well here, crew. Got a man on the far side, Savage needs to watch his position here, gets a good block in there, Savage, and apparently it's hit his hand. I said earlier, guys, with that penalty with Marley that we had, those those kind of chances usually go against us and there is a prime example the ball went to be crossed in Savage went to block it it's hit his arm and now we've conceded a penalty 
We are one nil up, so it's not the worst thing if it goes in, but hopefully he's going to go right because that's the way I'm going. Is he going to go right? He does go right, and he sends it over the bar. Thank you. Approaching half time here, guys. About one minute till half time. They missed the penalty. We're still one nil up, but they have been pressing since then. It's a decent ball through. French should be able to deal with this. Just blast that away if I can. He brings it down. Again, French looking to marshal this out. We just need to stand strong here before half time. And really good save by Wilson. They have a corner with pretty much no time left at all. It says two minutes, but it's already been three. So this corner is certainly going to be the last kick or header of the game. So let's try and get rid of this. Alfonsi in the centre. He does get rid of it, and that should be half time. But the referee is continuing playing. Now he blows. We go into the half. 1 0 up into the second half then guys and well interesting first half we get in front early they get a penalty decision which he misses hopefully we'll push forward now and get another three points so pass forward crew once again trying to come at us trying to make these gaps for teammates trying to get good passes in Alexander needs to do some good defending here he gets a block in and he's given another penalty I don't believe it come on referee I think that's going to be the thumbnail guys penalties are this episode and may even do that bit where it touches Alexander's hand because penalties have been the story of this well of this episode really Knight has a second chance to redeem himself he went right last time is he going to go left this time he doesn't he went right again he's missed again two penalties he's had and missed them both they could be in front here 2-1 ball lofted forward Valencia did really well on the head that is a lovely ball into Valencia's feet by Alexander see if he can beat his man here Valencia and he has turned away with a good turn of pace cross does come in Morley turned his back to it and it's another penalty are you <laughs> tell me you're joking referee <laughs> there's, been, there's been two penalties at uh, that end and now there's a penalty for us at this end I, it, will somebody tell me what's going on in this game please I'm going to bang the head on this desk what is going on oh well Molly to put us 2-0 in front he's gone right twice and missed I'm going to go left am I going to miss this one Molly does not miss Molly hits the target for the second time in this episode two penalties he's converted in this episode <laughs> I think I need to lie down. How many penalties is that? Four, four. Four, is that four penalties, guys? Four penalties in this episode. Yeah, thumbnail. Penalties in this episode. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> anyway, 2-0, guys. Let's crack on and get the three points. Cool, Alexander. Coming forward again here. Valencia trying to get the tackling down the line. Please tell me that's not touched another hand. He gave advantage there because it did such another hammer. Never mind, let's play on. Play keeps going. Kavanaugh coming forward. There was the advantage there for the shot pull, but never mind. I can see Valencia out far. That is a wonderful ball in by Morley. Pull that back to Kavanaugh. Is it going to be three? It bounces off the defender and it's out for a corner. I thought we were going to get three there. Kavanaugh should have probably side footed it into one of the corners. It was going for a corner. It hit, hit the defender square in the chest and he stops them going 3 0 down. Can we get. A chance from the corner. Mr. French is in there. Goes for the header. It's going to bounce down here. Give that to Valencia. He's onside. Trying sending it back in. It's come out. And see if crew can get away here. They're certainly trying to get forward. And he's knocked out for a throw in. Here's Savage. Trying to send that across to Alexander. Here is Alexander. Go down the line to Valencia. We may have broken the back line here let's try and get a good cross in it's towards Adams we know he can head them that is a cracking save from the crew Alexander goalkeeper really powerful header there Adams he's he's one of those strikers where he, he doesn't seem to get in the right place at the right time when you need him there but for the headers he is always the strong header of the ball let's see if we can aim for him again it's going towards Anthony he gets up and over the bar this time again crew trying to come at us and we stand strong again Alexander beaten to the ball French is near post and it hits off the post Wilson I think he made a good stop or he certainly got a touch on it but they still have a chance to get one back here crew and if he can get the gap he may find a shot here but French 
pulls over trying to get the tackle in and get this away and he's got two of them here, they're beating him around the corner, Cross does come in, Savage needs to get a good head on it, doesn't get a head on it, the Crew Alexander man does, but it's out for a goal kick. Not long left here now then guys, into stoppage time almost, I wouldn't imagine there'll be long left, or oh, there is, there's four minutes left here, and Morley around the corner, I think he's offside, he is. It would have been a good ball around the corner, but they played the offside trap very well there. I'll just play these last four minutes out guys, see if we can get a third to add insult to injury. Kavanaugh went up for the ball there, didn't quite get it. Anthony down the line, it's a good ball in. Can Savage get a toe on it? He certainly does, but not cleared it properly yet, and he puts it straight into a black shirt, plays it around the corner, and they have one back in stoppage time. Very well done. We didn't clear it properly, and they don't hesitate on putting the ball in the back of the net. We'll have one more look here. Savage won it, tried to get rid of it, only played it into a black shirt, played it around the corner, really good. Um, with the through ball there to keep his man on side and they get one back we're just going to hold on to the ball now and see out these three points I would imagine the referee will blow straight away and he does back at the menu then guys and well as you can see here if somebody says the word penalty to me again I think my head might pop how many pe we had four penalties in this episode I think it, Anyway, swiftly moving on for conversation. As you can see here, guys, I have got um, my monthly report back from uh, Lucas Roberts. So I will just see who he has got for me. He's certainly not going to be good enough. Um, no, not going to be good enough. Certainly not going to be good enough. Not going to be good enough. Maybe, but... No, not going to be good enough. Uh, so, no, Holt's not going to be good enough. Right, he hasn't brought me anybody good enough this time, and as you can tell, as you can see here, the transfer window is now open. So obviously, I won't advance any further into anything until you guys have left your comments. I have a few people on the um, the transfer hub, which I will show you in next episode. But also, just to let you know, I did get a youth um, for you guys to have a look at. Now, I've been training him. Um, for the past couple of weeks as you can see he was 57 and I've been training him and Jordan Best is going to be our replacement on the left wing for the bench I'm going to look to move Watkins on in this transfer window he has been good yes he had that great episode not so long ago but I want to bring fresher legs in somebody who is going to obviously get better so Jordan Best will be coming into the squad in the next episode so we can kind of pretend maybe he's George Best's great grandson but I'll leave that one with you guys. Let me know what you think of the look of him. Four star, four star. He's got some pace about him. He's got some agility. He's got decent balance. He's got decent ball control. He looks a good little player. So let me know your opinion on him. And also, like I said, leave your comments, guys. We haven't got a great amount of money to play with. Bear that in mind. We've only got sort of just over three million to play with so leave your comments any players or anybody you want me to have a look at anybody you think where we need to strengthen in the squad um maybe squad depth wise or anywhere we need to strengthen midfield defense attacking do let me know in the comments guys and drop a big thumbs up on this episode thank you very much and because of the amount of penalties that have been in this episode i might go for a lie down so <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for your support really appreciate it drop a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i will see you in the next episode it's been danilad 1989 love you bye